Whichever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have Google plus Oreo. Okay, I see the vision, let's go. Okay, so my initial thought with this one is to take this G and O and make it say Goo-Rio. And then I wanna make it be in the exact style of the Oreo logo, but all the letters be the colors of Google. My first step is gonna be duplicating this O. Then I need to find a G that kind of matches that vibe and resize it so that it looks good with the rest of the logo. Okay, I brought it into Procreate and now I'm just gonna add on all of those shadow colors that each of these has. Now I just need to add on this blue outline. Then I need to add on the light blue outline around the whole thing. Now all I have to do is make all the colors match up with the ones on the Google logo and here is the final result. This one came out pretty much exactly how I envisioned it in my head. I don't think it sounds very appetizing or like a good website, so the name maybe isn't the best, but I think it turned out really well. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whichever two logos this filter lands on, I am going to mash them together. Okay, up first we have Pringles plus Lego. Okay, let's go. Okay, basically what I'm thinking is we call it Pringos and we make it be in the font style of the Lego logo, but stretch this out so it's almost similar to this red shape and then make the Pringles guy into a square. Okay, I found a similar font, so now I'm gonna type out Pringles. I'm gonna go ahead and give it that look that the logo on the Lego has and make a red rectangle behind it. Now I'm gonna make a white square slash rectangle about the size of the Pringles guy. And now I'm just gonna select all the assets from the Pringles man and move them into the box. And here is the final result. I just love this little square Pringles dude so much. And it turned out pretty much exactly what I was thinking it would in my head. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments. Whichever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have Hello Kitty plus, ooh, the Crocs logo, okay. Okay, so my thought on it is basically just to trace around the Crocs logo in this kind of thick, bold line and then give him whiskers, a little nose, and a little bow. So I'm gonna down the opacity on it so then when I'm drawing my line, you can see it a little more. And I'm just gonna trace completely around him. I'm trying to do my best to make it a little more cartoony as well as I go. Okay, now that I've got that drawn, I'm gonna add those beady black eyes from Hello Kitty and the little yellow nose. Next, I'm gonna add those whiskers. And finally, I need to draw on the bow and here is the final result. I don't know how this one could have possibly turned out any different in my head, but it looks so adorable and funny. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments. Whichever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have Target plus... Ooh, the Olympics logo. Okay, I think I know what we have to do for this one. So my thought is basically just to make each of these circles be the same size and have the dot in the middle like the Target logo, but make it all the colors of the Olympics logo. Okay, so I'm gonna start by resizing them to be the exact size of each of these circles. And now I just need to make each of them the exact color of the Olympic rings. If you'll notice on these, they're all interlocking. So I might have to make them be a little bit more squished together so that I can get that interlocking look. Okay, I got them all closer, so now I can just select each individual one and just paint over it, and then it should give it that interlocking look like that. So I'm gonna do that with all of them, and here is the final result. This one's kind of simple. It just kind of looks like the Target logo <laughs> duplicated all over the place, but something about it I like. Let me know what you think about it in the comments.